As a homeowner, everything I do myself saves me money that would otherwise be spent on contractors or handy people. Since I'm the ultimate handyman, I'll just keep all my home repairs in-house, so to speak. And you can do the same. It was time to change the bathroom vanity light fixture. This old one is looking tired and it's rusty, so I picked up a new LED unit from the Home Depot. And this is what came in the box. Before I started anything, I turned off the power to the fixture so I can work without fear of electrical shock. I removed the old fixture. First, the screws. Then the wire nuts. took the old thing off the wall and threw it in the garbage. The drywall needs attention, that's for sure. I'm also going to install the new fixture a dead center of the mirror, which means I need to move the wiring over about six inches. I didn't install a new junction box because there's a vent pipe right where I need the box to go, and there's no stud to attach a J-box to. So I went down a different rabbit hole on this one and mounted the fixture directly to the wall. I cut out the bad sections of board, as you can see here, using a drywall saw. Once that was done, I installed a quarter inch thick piece of plywood using four drywall screws. I measured, cut, and installed the new section of drywall to act as a patch. Drywall compound, in this case the stuff you see here, was applied using the cheapest tools I could find at Home Depot. Apply paper tape to the joints after spreading the compound. I used my wife's hair dryer to speed up the dry time. I applied another coat of compound and flared the whole thing so that there is no hump where the patch is located. And then once everything was dry, I used the Homax can to apply an even coat of texture. If globs occur, just dab them away, as you can see here. Then continue spraying. I covered everything, fanned out the coverage so it's not concentrated in a small area, and now I'm ready to paint. So once everything is dry, I got out the paintbrush and cut in along the mirror's top edge. Then I applied more paint with a six inch wide sponge roller, making sure I covered everything up completely. You really can't tell there was ever an unsightly hole, right? And my mounting point is exactly in the middle of the mirror now. I mounted the base plate using a drywall screw on the right side, which goes into the plywood backer behind the drywall patch. On the left side, I used a corkscrew anchor, which is driven straight into the drywall, and a sheet metal screw goes into that anchor. Attaching the new LED fixture was simple. 
I match the color wires, black to black, white to white, and the bare ground wire to the ground. The fixture is light enough to easily hang from the wires if needed. My wire nuts are attached securely, and there's no way anything is coming loose. Finally, I secured the fixture to the mounting plate. And here's a little trick I use to get a screw into a tight space. I magnetize a stubby screwdriver so the screw won't fall off, as you can see here. Then drive the screw home. And now the job is complete. A brand spanking new LED vanity light has been installed. Channeling my inner eight-year-old self, I'm going to switch this light on and off several times. Do it yourself. Save time, save money, and get it done right. I'll be making more homeownership videos in the days ahead. Subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified when I create something new.